This Kickstarter must feature a giant expansion to Four Souls. Reprint all the old cards and present them in an amazing collectible box. Jesus Christ. Okay, there's another box. The Binding of Isaac Four Souls is a tabletop card game based on, you guessed it, Binding of Isaac video game. It was released in 2018 following a very successful Kickstarter campaign. Fast forward to now, the legendary Edmund McMillan created the expansion Four Souls Requiem, which was also another very successful Kickstarter campaign. With a funding period of 30 days and a goal of 100,000 US dollars, I believe it raised 6.7 million dollars, something like that. You had one dollar tiers, thirty-five dollar tiers, forty dollar, sixty-five dollar, one hundred and five dollar, one hundred and ten, one hundred and twenty, one hundred and fifty, two hundred and fifty, three hundred, three hundred thirty, four hundred, eight hundred, thirteen hundred, sixteen, sixty-six, two thousand dollar tier, and two thousand six hundred and sixty-six dollar tier. Now, I'm not uh, an Edmund McMillan super fan by any stretch of the imagination. I have played Binding of Isaac. I don't think I really ever played Super Meat Boy except for like the original one on Newgrounds. And I did for a little bit play Legend of Bumbo. And I'm definitely looking forward to checking out Mugenics, which is his new unreleased tactical role-playing roguelike, I believe. But this is not about promoting the man. This is about seeing what junk we got. So I thought it would be interesting to do like a Kickstarter video and go through all the stuff. It's taken quite a long time to get here. I think I tried to get the highest tier, which wasn't available. So I got the, the one under that, which was <laughs> like the big boy bath tier, which was 2000 US dollars. And then I spent an extra 1500 on bonus support, which I believe let me just pick a bunch of random extra shit, which is a whopping $5,200 Australian. Was it worth it? Probably not. I probably went a bit insane trying to get extra stuff to pad out a video. Let's go through it. So the main attraction of this tier, the, the now quite outdated gamer girl bathwater trope, we've got game dev bathwater. And I got number 15 of 40. There's a sketch of him there, uh, presumably when he was in the bath. And uh, yeah, possibly I will drink that later. I'm hoping I got extras of some of this stuff because I don't know what's what, but this seems to be the limited edition. We're probably gonna open up everything, at least one of everything. Now the cool thing about this project was he had a bunch of different artists agree to do these cool like cameo artworks for I think some of the alt cards. In fact, we were going to see a Christine Weston Chandler card, which would have been insane, uh, but this happened right as the infamous mother incident occurred. So that was then replaced. Placed. All right, let's just go through these cards, I guess. I've not played the actual original, um, but this looked pretty clean, honestly, for a game that's, that, that's not printed by like a major TCG. A lot of the time I see stuff that's, that the hollows always look absolutely terrible. This like, this looks like pretty good, I would say. Two cents, that's just my two cents anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know what, what the deal is with this being limited. Is it that mean every single one in this particular deck is holographic, perhaps? We've got all these little things that do stuff. Obviously, they're mostly from The Binding of Isaac. I believe um, he did some cards that have crossovers, references to other indie titles. I don't really want to spend too much time on these, but yeah, we've got different loots, different um, enemies, different bosses, I'm assuming. Blah, 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 blah. A lot of different item cards as well. Tuma, Holy Boney. We've got Holy Mulligan, Cursed Tuma. Alright, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna really go through these, because I think we've got a lot to do. The Angel Room, Boss Rush, Curse of Impulse, Curse of Bloodlust, Widow, Dingle. Alright, let's... There's a whole bunch of different stuff, I don't want to lose you, I do want to show you, um, you know, different kinds of very things, I want to stay on this deck forever, which is, consists of so many different... Ooh, okay, here we go, there's definitely Mario. Okay, maybe these ones are the super limited ones that are added? I'm, I'm just trying to assume it's the, the whole holo deck is this limited bundle one. Um, because, because obviously it's gonna go in stores and have to buy the actual game, which I'm assuming it is out. Bumbo! Um, but, yeah, let's finish this up here. This is basically what I've got. This is what I got for my fight. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm certainly gonna go 
try to play this game at, at some stage, but certainly not for content. All right, should we take a look at one of the plushies here? The Binding of Isaac plushies. Okay, I'm not a huge plushie guy. Uh, just because they take up so much space, and I'm rapidly running out of space. But as far as plushies go, seems very high quality. I'd say if you're a, a plushy kind of person and a Binding of Isaac fan, these would be pretty cool. We've got a uh, Monstro here. I mean, he's kind of just a pillow, really, but the eyes sort of pop out. Okie dokie. Okay, that's some long, big wings on this little guy. And you can kind of get him flapping. We have the next one here, Lilith. Quite a uh, appropriately timed one with the current popularity of uh, Diablo 4. And does the thing come off? Can you see the eyes underneath? You can! You can see the bloody... Oh, they're sort of like kind of obscured by the hairline there. Don't know how I feel about that, but... At least there's something under there. Not sure what this little package is. Let's go through this one. First up, this appears to be a sticker. You know what we do with the stickers? They all go on the backdrop until it's a hideous mess. It is definitely achieving that goal already, to be honest. We've got Gish. Life isn't easy when you're a 12 pound bowl of tar. 15th anniversary version from the creators of Super Meat Boy and The Binding of Isaac. Let's see what's in this little thing here. Is this a magic card? Edmund McMillan designed a magic card? Like, oh, and he signed this one as well. Assuming this squiggle that vaguely looks like an E is the signature. Checks out though. Damn, that's cool, I had no idea. All right, what are these? What do we have here? Are these, I feel like these are quite special piece. Are these like prototype things or something? No, ooh, oh, okay. The, it's like, almost feels like it's fabric. I mean, I guess it was kind of came together with Gish and it's got Gish. I think this might just be three packs of this. I, yeah, I don't know, interesting. It's also been so long since I actually pledged that I can't really remember if any of this was like specifically listed and I would know what it is. We've got Eden Sol. Again, this is like a thing in, it's, it's, it's trying to protect it. It must be something. I think there's a couple of cards in here as well. Eden Sol. We've got Seraphim, and we've got the Stairway, and then we've got the Holographic Eden here as well. And then we've got another sticker. We have! Okay, this is... Okay, okay. I'm just sort of reaching down next to me and pulling random stuff out of the box. We have... Ooh, a Stress Ball. I don't think we need to take that out. Another Stress Ball. Let's see, some more... Oh, okay, we've got some dice. I'll unbox anything that I think looks interesting enough, but this, it's, it's some dice. We've got holy rollers and we have unholy rollers. Um, it mostly looks like just different color schemes. You've got like the poop there on the side. The R used to play the game, I assume, uh, but we do have doubles as well. We have <laughs> the player mat. Four player mat. Very nice quality mat. There is two full parts here that are the same size, quite thick. Oh, for the love of God. I have a, oh, okay, we don't need, that, that, that's, I think that's just the same thing. Next, we've got some heart tokens used in a, as a component of the game. Next, we have two fig figures. Oh, both the same figure, that's a shame. Wonder if you could have got different ones. Quite large. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see, oh, okay, it's got different components. Oh my god, look at the size of his head. It's so strange to see that in 3D like this. You got his ass hanging out. I'm assuming this is the Wings Plus stand, right? Where's the, okay, there we go. Is this little stand gonna, gonna support his massive head? All right, let's put the thing in. Damn! Yeah, that looks pretty cool. That's pretty good, I like that. And I guess as a collector man, there's nothing nothing wrong with having an extra sealed one as well. Okay, what is this? Speaking of figures, what? This Binding of Isaac minifigs? Like blind box? Is this something I could have got before now? I feel like this could make its own video. Well, it's got mega figure pack 
Four Souls. Maybe this came out from like the original Kickstarter. Okay, I'm actually kind of excited for this one. All right, geez, we've got a, a whole mini fig <laughs> opening video inside of this video. I, I think, I guess we'll just go through them. All right, they're not mystery. It tells you who's on the front there. Makes me wonder if they're all unique or if there is doubles in here as well. I, okay, I, I'm, I think obviously there is enough characters to go all the way through these. Damn! All right, this is the Keeper. Damn, these are actually really nice quality minifigs. I hope um, Binding of Isaac fans can actually just buy these somewhere. Forgotten. Kind of wish I saw these at the start. I know a lot of you sort of like the minifig content, but for those of you who are still here, this is for you. These are these are really nice. I, I actually really like these. I think something like uh, Binding of Isaac lends itself really well to these, these kinds of figures. All right, this one is Eve. And my man really had to go ahead and make sure that all the butt cheeks were visible. Judas! Let's see that Judas. Okie dokie, there it is. Got the, the Fez hat. Yeah, these are so much more appealing to me than plushies, but I, I'm not a plushie hater. I'll, you guys do what you like. Let me know if you're a plushie collector and how you don't go crazy from all the space that they take up. All right, I think we got the cat. We got Guppy in this one. That is adorable. I, I don't, the thing I don't like about these kinds of figures is when you can see the seam where the, the head pops on to that, like, joint there. Like, that looks a little bit ugly. While well, it's hidden a little better on something like this. But there you go. Very cute. The Lost. Let's crack it open. Let's take it out. Let's see what look like. <laughs> look at that little little tail there and the stand peg is like a little bit longer on this one so it can be kind of you know actually floating i guess lilith sorry the cleanest way is to cut the back because if you see this it, it you can't actually take this off it, it sort of peels back it's like double layered it's I, and i would like to keep these boxes in slightly okay Condition by just putting a bit of tape there. Mainly so I can take a proper thumbnail shot and keep them all intact. I was thinking about opening everything first so I could take the, the thumbnail properly. Uh, but I thought, you know, it's, it's going to be much better if I don't spoil myself. And I'm just straight up pulling this onto the table, seeing it for the first time as we go. All right, we've got Dark Judas. Just like red, regular Judas, but black. You know, in case this didn't look evil enough, it had they had to make it darker. Okay, well there you go. That's that. That's that's a really nice finish on that as well. The the dark comes through nice on these. This is definitely my favorite part. I've not seen everything yet, but this is definitely going to be tricky to beat. All right, the whore of Babylon. There we go. Oh, it's like actual... Wait. Oh, no, that's just how the finish is. I, th I thought for a second it was, like, semi-transparent. All right. And on the stand, of course. I think maybe I'll save Isaac for last, even though, realistically, he's not too much to look at. Okay. And up. Give it a little rotate. Another one that's sort of um, floating, flying, if you will. We've only got like five to go here. All right, man, that is that is such like a refresher to see these this like light-hearted character with these nice colors after going through so many demons. I guess it's time to go back to the horrifying drab colors. No, but honestly, they all they all look really good. Fantastic job making these. There we go. Got the wings on the back, got the horns on the top, got the soulless pits for eyes. Another slightly levitating little critter. Three more to go, Blue Baby, Kane, and of course, Isaac. That's one, two, three. And damn, these colors really pop. Again, I don't like that you can see the, the sort of crease thing there. All right, save Isaac. And then Kane. 
here, uh, quite basic. And Isaac, actually a lot better than I was thinking. I really, really like the tears on that. That's sick. But yeah, that's the final three. And this is all of them. Uh, 15 in total, I believe. And we've still got so much more to go. But that was the end of one of these boxes. But at, at the very bottom, there is also this. I think this is just, just a really nice bit of artwork on uh, a bit of card. A little bit of a scratch in the middle. That's all right. I think it's time for a plushy break because we, we still haven't gone through all these, if you can believe it. Since we ended with the blue baby... Um, Mini fig. Here's the blue baby plush. Complete. Wait, where's the shit? Okay, here. Okay, here's the shit. An extra piece of shit. Little blue baby. Big blue baby. Okay, and we have. I think this might be the last plushie. Let's get it out of the way. We got this little fella who is called Baby Plum. Okay. Next, we have. Uh, we got a hat. None of this is stuff that I would be caught dead wearing, to be honest. But it's there. You got to do it. You're doing all all this merch and stuff. You can't not make a, a beanie and hat. Okay, we're onto the last box, I think. Okay, this has got some heavy stuff in it, and I think it seems like there's three of these. I'm assuming this is everything you need to play the actual game. I would hope it could be contained in this. Um, yeah. Binding of Isaac, Four Souls, Requiem, Ultimate Collector's Box. I am a collector. Let me collect. Case off. And then we've got to lift the latch. Boom. What do we... Oh! All right. All right, on top, what do we have? We've got a, a little note here. Big thanks to everyone who supported the Requiem Kickstarter and joined in on the Pretty Insane Adventure. It's with your support that we were able to pack so much great stuff into this project and made it not only better, but your interaction and creativity made this whole experience honestly a ton of fun for me as well. Till next time, folks. XOXO Edmund. Some stickers. You know where those are going to end up. Actually, I think these ones are like um, temporary tattoos. We have... Um... This. What exactly is this? I, I'm not quite sure. All right. Is it? Oh, it's just, it's, I think it's just art like that. And that's the other side. Whole lot of things to maybe pause and look at. That's quite insane. Oh boy. All right. This is, I'm, I am going to go through every single card. I'm just going to save it to the very end to make sure only the people who absolutely want to see that um, are there for it. So I want to just um, maybe go over some of the more engaging things first. We've got some die there. A couple of the five cent tokens. Some more heart tokens. We've got a little pin. Got this little player's bag to keep it all. Got some more in these like cute um, fake money rolls. I'm assuming it's actually going to have a whole stack. Yes. Nice. Oh, God. And a... <laughs> Don't worry, guys. All of that goes into my little sack. This here will actually teach us how to play. We got this. Okay, this is actually an insane amount of cards. I'm going to have to be going through these. Jesus Christ. All right, let's see what else we got first. Okay, another, another entire one. That's cool. Maybe I'll gift that to someone. Or maybe I'll keep the, <laughs> the third one sealed. Okay. There is absolutely more stuff down here, though. Um, oh, okay, wait! Oh, cool! Okay, I got an entire double of that. Okay, hold on. I need to move these chests. Okay, I think this is the, like, standard box to play the game. I think this has everything for just the sort of standard thing. But it is just the expansion, because this has still requires the Four Souls base game. I'm assuming... The original base game is also in this, because this is just ridiculous. And I think we also had a, a loose blank cards. You sort of draw your own little thing in there, make your own character, or item, or whatever. Anyway, my point is, I think everything in here is covered in here. We also have one of his, or two of, rather, the uh, less, slightly less overwhelming games, I guess, that he's made. Um, tapeworm. Nice hollow box. We've got a standalone Binding of Isaac, Four Souls, second edition expansion pack thing. Again, think that's in here. Oh, but 
Extra mini fig, a bonus mini fig. Tainted Isaac, we've got two of them. All right, let's add this one to my collection. Plug him into his little stand. Give him a little whirl around and see what else we got. All right, we've got uh, these just play mats. Oh, okay, so this is a two player mat. All right, we whip this one out if we're ever just gonna play with two, but it doesn't really seem like there's anything you actually need as a, a play mat. There's no overlay for any of the slots of things that you need to put down similar to, you know, other TCGs like Pokemon or whatever. And lastly, finally, whatever this is. It doesn't really say, wait, here we go. I guess it's just something to do with the second edition. Probably also in here. I don't know. All right, God, let's go through these cards. Okay, these look like they should be similar, but they're different sizes. Oh, and these ones, these ones actually feel like those other ones I wasn't so sure about. So maybe these are just, just regular cards, but possibly some cool special ones added for certain tiers, I don't know. Like the Gish cards, maybe just like extra cool bonus things. All right, so this just has all the, the, the basic stuff, the pennies, got some batteries, nickel, uh, and then a couple of the items, pill there, bomb, blah, blah, blah. We've basically seen this. We've seen a little better with the hollow as well. And I'm assuming this smaller pack is just more? It's just like additional ones? Oh no, there's some, did the other one have mega battery? Some different items and things in there, okay, interesting. Okay, okay, we've got the, the tarot cards, I think. Yeah, okay, interesting. And they're like actual Isaac themed in this. I think I remember in, in the game, weren't they actually more typical looking tarot cards, I think? I could be wrong. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of the different ones of those. Blood pennies, ooh, okay. These got a different border, different sort of base. All right, I'm actually sort of excited to try to learn this game. I feel like it might be extremely overwhelming for me though, and I'll just give up. All right, let's take a look at these. I think these are the character cards. I don't know how it works. Maybe you pick like a, okay, that's just, okay. Oh, these sit over the things so you know what decks are there and what they do. Jesus Christ, I think. There's so many different categories. Let's check out the blank cards. Blank card? Okay, so yeah, different blank cards for the different kinds of, all the different sorts of things, I guess. All right, so you get a couple of those. I'll definitely be making a Mr. Beast 666 card on one of mine. All right, here we go. Judas. Okay, now this is sick. I feel like this must be where some of the, does, do these have any of the, doesn't seem to have the artist's name anywhere, but I'm assuming these are all the collaborative alt arts which is actually very, very cool. Okay, 100%. So different people who've done di work in different mediums. Um, let me know if you can spot any of your favorite online people here as we go through them. Okay, this is what I've been looking for. This is actually way, way cooler. Uh, okay, we've got Isaac there. So yeah, the we would have seen a Christine Weston Chandler art in here, we would have actually seen some Sonichu type Binding of Isaac officially released if the incident with the mother did not happen. Okay, that's cool. An actual photo of a jarred fetus. We've got one that's just straight up a tattoo. We've got the the cat's paw. I don't know how that one's done. Is that like a, is that, it looks sort of, I guess, 3D? A mix of a couple of things maybe? Lost soul, we've got like a patch. These are, wait, what, to kill all players? Does that just end? I need to learn how to play the game. That sounds kind of overpowered and crazy. Uh, all right, Twitchy, Ultra Greed. These are so cool. Wow, the lamb, secret room, little like claymation, clay figure type thing. Uh, oh, another one that's sort of like that, I think. Uh, rag mega straight up just Satan this is it's what I, I would have thought that he would want to I guess there's not a whole lot of room but like come on man pay it forward they put they put your little thing on the magic card you got to design I think though this is gonna be as interesting as, as it gets for this portion I can't imagine the other stuff is going to be anywhere near as cool as this that one is sick that one is also really cool. 
We've got Mom, the big leg coming in. Mega Fatty. Larry Jr. Little Horn. Another... Is that clay? Some of these are, like, hard to tell how they were made. Um, Gaper. Gertie, like, actual pixel art for that one. Crazy. Dingle. I've never seen Dingle look this horny. Uh, Famine. I, I'm really digging this sort of black and white ones. Delirium. <laughs> Ricky Barry. <laughs> what? Okay. I, I did not expect that or see that coming. Um, <laughs> Daddy Long Legs. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. I'm, assume, I'm assuming basically every single one of these is, is someone different. Big Bony. Mulligan. Sorry if I'm going too fast or if I'm not appreciating the art enough. Please feel free to pause if you would like to look at it a little longer. Okay, that one is awesome. Um, maybe this is one that he's, one of his kids did, possibly. Uh, that one looks really sick as well. And we're really running through these, though. We're getting to the very end. Duke of Flies. Last couple here. That is the final one. That's amazing. That's incredible. I wish there was more projects that did stuff like that. That's such a cool community-based thing. That's really awesome for the fans, and I'm, and I'm assuming everyone who was involved would have been so stoked to see their final product among all these other super talented people. All right, I think this one, again, is just... Okay, a bunch of shit that we've mostly seen. A couple of different items here. Back to the pills. Gold key. We've seen most of this stuff. I believe Hourglass. Yeah, we've seen that. A couple of gold ones in here. I think we've also seen that. I don't remember Rainbow Baby. But we're skipping through. I'm not a sucker. I'm not sitting here wasting my time. Okay, I like the color scheme of that. That's cool. Okay, those ones are cool. I know I'm mostly sounding like a broken record here. I probably maybe should have saved those really cool artist ones for last, but it's still at the very end of the video. Um, all right, let's move into another pack. I am not going to be able to categorize these, and I think I'm going to take one look at this with all these categories and be like, where do I start? Okay, I'll look at the rule book. Okay, I'm done. I can't be bothered. I did that with, um, what was it? Uh, one of the, the, I've never properly played d and but I played one of the, like, board game ones, and it was still so overwhelming to the point where I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm just not gonna bother learning. Even though I was so excited when I bought it, and I was super keen to learn, and it looked so cool, but, yeah, I don't know. I maybe just play Monopoly. It is a shame, though, because there is so many awesome tabletop games. I just think I need, like, rather than reading... A rule book, I need someone there who's versed in it, who can just be, you know, <clears throat> take me by the hand and show me how to play. All right, guys. Oh, this is like a cutie pack. These are all like, look at them. Okay, we got the Yassified <laughs> collection. Okay, now we've turned, things have turned. We're into the cursed collection. Oh God, oh God. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. How much more can I say? It's the binding of Isaac. It's the cards. Here is card. Look at it. Look at it. I'm losing my mind. Troll bombs. Man, I fucking hate those fuckers. Although I swear in the actual game, they actually have troll faces. Maybe you wanted to move away from that or maybe there's a legal issue. How many more do we have? Okay, we're on, we're on some sideways cards now. Oh, whoa. Okay. How do these work? Oh, these are like effects or something. Maybe these go in, yeah, into play? Or, I don't know. Got the slot machine. But let's take a look at one. Pay three cents. Roll three, loot one. If you roll four, loot two, blah, 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 blah. So that you can roll the dice and mess with that, I guess. Challenge room, static shock. Each time a player activates an item, they take one damage. See, that's like ongoing. So maybe that goes into effect. And then when you do something at some point, it gets replaced by one of these. Gets drawn from the deck and put into play. Uh, all right, let's, let's try another one. Blessing of Steam. We've got the Steam Summer Sale here. Shop items the active player purchases cost five cents less. 
Um, when this enters play, reroll each item in play. Each player discards their hand and loots three. Put each monster into discard. At the end of the turn, put this into discard. Okie dokie. We've got a bunch of different dice room rooms. I think this might be purgatory. I might possibly just be here forever. All right, we've got X-ray vision. Undefined. The jar. Sacrificial dagger. R key. We've got red key. Uh, member card, Mama Mega, Marbles, Magic Skin, Keeper's Sack, Keeper's Penny, Jar of Flyers, Hallow Hallowed Ground, uh, Hand Me Downs, we've got Friendly Ball, Friendly Sack, Experimental Treatment, Eternal D6, The Clicker, Fucking Car Battery, Book of the Dead, Birthright Baby, Battery Pack, Auction Gavel, we've got Abel, Alabaster Box, Backstabber, Ball of Bandages, Blood Puppy, Bobby Bomb, Chocolate Milk. Oh god, I'm going to 100% go down a glass of chocolate milk when I am done with this. I am stringing this sentence out so I have something to say to get me to the end. Another one. All right, in this one, folks, we've got a Wishbone, we've got a Tick, we've got a Rib of Greed, Lucky Toe, Golden Trick. Jeez, this must have taken so long. My god, I think we're seeing some repeats, but yeah, like that's gotta be, that's, that's gotta be shit with, yeah, most, okay, the, oh, okay, alright, we've seen all that. There's no way everything that comes, just in this box alone is necessary, like the amount of doubles, there's no, there's no way! Alright, what do we got here? We got the D6, baby, slide of hand, are these meant to be like somewhat slightly more premium cards? So well, they've got this sort of border? Or is it just the category that they're in? Like, then we've got, like, a, one that's similar, but it's silver instead of gold. Isaac! Finally, we found him, guys! Kane! All right, we've got a bunch of the characters all in the same sort of pose, the same background. Did we get figures of all of... I don't think we saw Lazarus as a figure. Um, and that's definitely straight up looking like a Mario cloud. And we've got the soul of Guppy on the end. Oh, okay, this one. Okay. We've got Abe from Abe's Odyssey. Maybe this whole stack is like the crossover thing with different games. I'm hoping so. Okay, let's see if there's any cool ones. Abe. Ash. Is that from another thing? That's that little, it's this little blob. Okay, maybe it's only some. Oh, that's, the, that's, um, uh, what is it? Ba Baba is you? Okay, maybe the ashes from something else. Blind Johnny. How many, let me know, how many of these do you recognize? Yeah, these are, these. this whole stack here, at least up to here. We've got uh, Friday Night Funkin', I think it's called. Bumbo the Weird. See, that one's straight up from the uh, Bumbo game, the, the uh, Legend of Bumbo, where it's all like little propped up cardboard cutout things. Okay, this is cool. I'm liking this. <laughs> all right. Clearly, there's permission for all of these. It's like an actual cool... Oh, there's Edmund himself. Okay. 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 Is that... There must be... Obviously, okay. It's got to be permissions. People have got to wanted to have been part of this. You can't have half-half, I don't think. Do not know what that is. Salad Fingers! That's an incredible one. We've got the character from Spelunky. I guess his name's Guy Spelunky. Steven... Um, oh, what is that? That's a cool card as well. Uh, Hollow Knight there. The Silent fucking Slay the Spire! Nice. Uh, Young v Ven Veners. The character looks very familiar. Gun that can kill the past. Water bottle. Alright, I think we moved through all the... No, maybe not? Sir Junkin. I don't... Mm. Okay, I think maybe we move through all, the, all of those ones. Oh, okay, no, we're still getting references and things. We've got the actual Newgrounds tank. Wait, no, I'm feeling... <laughs> okay, no, we have not. We have not. Get over it. Awesome. Birthday cake. Aubrey. Tony. Bible thump. With Twitch chat included. I wish I knew which ones are to open first. Like, this is actually really fun to see these. The other ones... It's kind of just like, oh yeah, these are all components of the game that follow the same sort of, um, same sort of art style, so it's consistent, you know? But these, this one's really cool to see. Which, I know, I know, I sound like a broken record. Balos! 
Curse of the sp suspicious. Couple, a fair few seem to be getting. Seem to be um, some get a, a couple of different references in here. Uh, Don't starve. They had a recent sequel, I think, didn't it? Don't starve together. Uh, Golden Idol. Yeah, see, some of these things, there's there's multiple. Seems like each series gets a couple of little references, because that's uh, Spelunky as well. That uh, And that's um, Salad Fingers as well. This is definitely like a guy. Uh, is this a backer? Is this a streamer? This is, a, this is just a guy. Or is this, like, someone close to the project? Possibly. Uh... Let me know. Please let me know below every reference that you spotted. Or if you know absolutely everything. We've, <laughs> we've got Quop. Shopkeeper. Again, that's Spelunky, I think. The Butcher. The Collector. The Gorm. The Imposter. The Radiance. Time Eater. I'm really loving these Slay the Spire ones. Trial by Trolley, Zombie Jesus, Balrog, Grub Father, Strange Marble, Possession, Ring of the Snake, again, Slay the Spire, Lollipop, Hunky Boys, Is, okay, Barber Is You, just the Is You, Focus, Ball of Tumors, Bow and Arrow, Emergency Meeting, Football, Girlfriend, Gravity, Johnny's Knives, Lil Steven again, Pop Pop Baby, Rusty Spoons, Spelunking Pack, The Real Left Hand, Polar Star, and Strawberry. Oh, and one more, the Isaac, the Isaac of Isaac. Each character is named Isaac. Nice. I hope you guys aren't too pissed at how quickly I'm going through some of these, but please feel free to pause. Um, I do really appreciate all of this art and it's just really going to be, it's going to take a lot to wrap my head around how to actually play the game or whatever. But with this amount of stuff, it really does seem like you could play no game that's going to be alike. Because there's no way you use all of this in one game. This is all going to like random decks. I feel like you're really going to see new stuff every time for quite a long time. Um, Alright, we've got some more cursed stuff here. Cursed, 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 cursed with the blind. Now we're onto the chest. Gold chest, dark chest, dark chest, normal chest, normal chest, secret room, XL floor. Shop upgrade! We need to go deeper, boys! I don't know how much more deeper I can go. We're nearly there. Ooh, mega troll bomb. We do still have a couple more of these, though. Holy dip. Holy mum's eye. Now we're out of the curses into the holies. I, again, I really like the the backdrop, the the sides of the, the holy cards. Looks nice. Holy squirt. I think Catholic priests do a, a little too much holy squirting sometimes. All right. Another one. What do we have in this one? Puta. Fly. All right. Now we're actually just seeing some like very generic normal enemies that you see on the floor of Binding of Isaac. Okay, this is just like a full mobs pack, it seems. you still got some stuff like Monstro. Oh, you've got, yeah, you've got some of the bosses as well. Cool. All right. All right. Okay, we're going through all the bosses here. Um, and then, are we just, maybe we're just moving into the different floor, because now I feel like we're seeing the enemies that are on the higher floors after going through all the first roll sort of bosses. Got Gertie, back to some of the bosses. Wrath. AKA Bomberman, Gertie Jr., Peep, Carry On Queen. And I think after this, we still have. Um, I prefer the Ricky Ber Ber Berwick one. Uh, we've still got, what, two or three packs, I think? Satan, Black Boney. Three, oh, yeah, three more stacks. Oh, shit, did I get distracted and not go through the tapeworm? I think I wanted to do that. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at the tapeworm as well once we get through these three final mega stacks. All right. Items. It's an item stack. Cool. 
Mario's. All right, all right. I think we can do a bit of this. I think we're seeing a couple of repeats. Now we've got the pennies, back to the normal stuff, the bombs, the very uh, sort of base items. A couple more enemies again. I don't, I don't understand the how these are packaged together. I'm assuming a lot of them are from different iterations, like the second edition or whatever, and then uh, different versions of premium stuff from those past things. And these, it's just absolutely everything that's ever been released in any set is now just all in this absolute mega bundle, it seems, which does result in a lot of, um, way too many of the normal items and stuff. I think way too many. You're not going to need that many to play the game. But we're still seeing some stuff that I think is new, but every now and then we just see like another 50 pennies, bombs, and pills. All right, the final two. Let's take a look. Lucky Foot, Spoon Bender, Flush, Monster Manual, The Shovel, The D20, Potato Peeler, Sackhead, Bum Friend, we've got Compost, D Diplopia, The Battery, Blank Card. Just a fucking sack of shit. Godhead. We saw that one with the, ooh, the D100. Those are actually real, right? Like someone's made D100s. Just some actual crazy giant orb. Box. The D4. Okay. Couple more things there. The head of Guppy and the paw of Guppy. This is the final one. Ooh, we've got... Ooh, okay. What is that? Oh, it's a double... Double-sided. Interesting. I wonder if there's any of those that I've missed because I thought it was all the one way at their very end. Potentially. All right, we're back to a couple of little uh, characters here. And then, of course, we will go into Tapeworm, and then we will finally end this video. Bunch of different souls, more dice. <laughs> Come on, man! What do we got on the end here? Soulbound! Okay, that's it, guys. Cool. Let's finish it with taking a very quick look at the tapeworm game. Take the lid off and we got stickers. We got the instructions here of how to play. Okay, there's a couple of basic ins Why is there so many instructions? I guess this is to hand out to everyone playing to keep a copy of at their side so they know what's up. You got a few different sort of uh, rules card things I guess you pick up from stacks or something. Okay, they've got names, they've got faces. And then you've got this full Main stack, um, yeah, I guess they connect together and then you've got whatever. If you pause and read or you know you've already played the game, you get out of play it. My most interesting thing about this is it seems like you get cards for this game by buying this game. A couple of extra tapeworm specific things, which is really cool. And they're super high effort um, holographic ones as well. Really cool. All uh, related to Tapeworm. And that's gonna do it, guys. That is the end of the Binding of Isaac. Four Souls Requiem Kickstarter pledged video. I guess there's also this, which does feel kind of long. Maybe it's got like tarot card type things in it or something that's slightly different. Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. I'll have a look. I'll have a quick look. I'll double check. Is, oh, no, yes, that is true. Wait, this is just a whole, okay, I think this is just a whole other game. This is just another tabletop game, a card game of sorts, it seems. Unless this also ties in with the other one, with the main everything. God, these are kind of awkward to hold and look at. Okay, so they've all got, they've all, okay, they're just all pictures? Do these have a, a role in the thing? Or are these just like special sort of tarot card type things? Because it's not—you need some sort of connection here to know what the what's going on with them. Are these just collectible cards. Maybe these can be tied to something here. I don't know. Let me know below if you're aware. And thanks for watching, Edmund. If you see this, please let me be part of the next community-based creator creative project that you do. 
Thank you for watching. Oh, right, and of course, Max Mofo's postcard collection. It's a segment where usually Pokemon postcard, but today, Super Meat Boy postcard. And reunite the Worm Family postcard. Thanks for watching, guys.